Hi, I'm Chef Emmy. Welcome back. We are today going to make a recipe using Umapro apple cider powder. And this is a fun recipe. Again, it's no bake. Everything you can buy at the supermarket. And it's a lot of fun to do. You can have it as a dessert, as a snack. I'm sure the kids will love it too. It's a lot of different fruits, three different berries. It's called a triple berry trifle. A trifle is um, a British word for any kind of a dessert with fruits and cakes. Traditionally with some sherry or some wine, but we're not going to do that. We're going to substitute Humor Pro for the wine. So if you want to throw some wine in it, go ahead, but not here. Very, very simple. I took a store-bought angel food cake and just ripped it up into pieces. I used half of a regular cake. I bought some raspberries, some blueberries, rinsed them out, threw them in the dish right here, and just halved up about a 16-ounce container of fresh strawberries. Grab them while they're in season, they're absolutely delicious. In this bowl, I have half a cup of 2% Greek yogurt, 2% fat Greek yogurt, and about two or three tablespoons of the light whipped topping. I like the light because it has no sugar in it. And if you don't need the extra sugar, you got enough of the berries. To this now, this is the only mixing thing I'm really going to do. I'm going to put some, uh, and a little bit of water. I'm going to put the yogurt in the water, mix it up, mix it in with the whipped topping and the Greek yogurt, and then I'm going to assemble the trifles in a wine goblet. You can use any container that you like, but something that's nice and round and high, so you can build layers. Because we're going to go cake, fruit, whipped topping. Probably, maybe we'll get two layers of each in here, and then maybe sprinkle some berries on top. It's real easy. We're going to take our humor pro. Now, when I was looking at this recipe to do it, a lot of people, and I was running it off my, my friends and my clients, so, well, M, I thought you couldn't mix Humor Pro with protein. What's that all about? You know what? You can mix Humor Pro with anything you want because the way Humor Pro is formulated in the exact ratios of the amino acids, it makes it such an anabolic compound and anti-cortisol compound. In being and doing that now, it's going to help your body absorb and utilize anything else that you eat. So, if you put it with protein, now the Greek yogurt is very high in protein. A lot of people don't realize that. It's not a store-bought, low-fat, fruit-filled yogurt. It's almost more like sour cream in, in texture. So it's got a lot of protein, very, very low carbs, and it's got no sugar in it. And this one has a little bit of fat. It's got about four and a half grams of fat per half cup serving, which is nothing. You need a little bit of fat anyway. So the adding the humor pro to this is going to make your body utilize the protein in the Greek yogurt even better. So now your body's making more use of what you're eating as opposed to more of it going out in the opposite direction that doesn't do us any good. So that's all we're going to do. Mix it on two scoops. We're going to add it to our Greek yogurt and whipped topping mixture. And we're just going to whisk it all together. There's no cooking in this. I love this. It's easy. Just put everything together. Make it nice and pretty. And then we're going to start building. This is it. This is the extent of the intricacies of this recipe. It's just adding Yuma Pro, half a cup of water to 2% Greek yogurt and some whipped topping. I bought the one that's frozen, by the way, not the one out of the can, because that one deflates because it's under pressure in the can. So if it stays out of the can too long, you get like real nasty looking stuff. So the frozen one in those big tubs, doesn't matter which one you buy, uh, in terms of name brand, because they're all basically the same. And this is what you're looking for. It's not too, too thick, but it's going to hold up to the fruit and the pound and the uh, angel fruit cake. So now, here we go. We're going to build a little guy. So I'm going to put it up here so you can see. I'm going to throw in a couple of chunks. Now, press it down, because you want it to look pretty. I don't know if you remember, and I'm giving my age away, but when I was a kid, we used to make sand art in containers, and we used to do this whole layering trick with toothpicks and stuff to make birds and mountains, and this kind of reminded me of that, because we're building layers, and we want each layer to be seen. Heavier fruit on the bottom, we know that the strawberries obviously are much heavier. Raspberries should go closer to the top because they are the most delicate. Blueberries are pretty tough because they're kind of hard. So that's cool. So make yourself a pretty little assembly. And now, 
a dollop of this. It's going to look so pretty. And let it go down, let it smush down between the fruit and fill up all that empty space in the glass. There you go. Now we start again. We start with some more pound cake. This is going to be a perfect two layer glass. Look for some kind of a container or a vessel that's going to give you at least two layers. So you don't want to go with like an inch or two container, you want something a little bit higher. Now a little bit more fruit. Let's just put blueberries and raspberries up here. Excellent. Now I didn't put anything on the fruit, I didn't put any sugar, I did not put any kind of liqueur, even though I've seen recipes that call for that. If you wanted to do that, you can go ahead and do that, that's not a problem. I just don't drink anymore, so. And now on top. So now, all the protein is in here. So if you wanted to eat a little bit more of that, go right ahead. Now, I'm just going to do that, put that on top, and you're done. Put them in the fridge at least a good two or three hours. Get them nice and cold. This is going to set to an even more firm consistency when you let it chill. So, make up a bunch of them, put them in the fridge, and when you're ready, just take them out and serve. Enjoy. Welcome back. I've put together several of our triple berry trifles for you so you can see how pretty they look when they're all together. I've topped each one with a different berry. Now, if you wanted to use different types of berries, please feel free. It's, it's whatever's in season, whatever's fresh. And I also wanted to review the nutritional information because all of the recipes that we do here on Chef Emmy will have complete nutritional information and you can download the recipes on the website. So for this particular recipe, you should get about eight servings. Again, it depends on the container that you're using. Um, but I did the recipe divided by eight to give you an idea. The entire cup here, because this would be the cup that I used, has about 125 calories, give or take. That's nothing for a great snack like this. I put two scoops of Humapro in here. Two scoops of Humapro is the equivalent of 56 grams of protein. So that's a nice shot of protein. You'll get about 10 and a half grams of that per serving. You've also got the protein from the Greek yogurt to get a little extra boost there. The Umapro is going to help you digest that and absorb that even better. Now, carbohydrates. We've got a lot of fruit in here. We've got angel food cake. So you're looking at about 25 grams of carbs per serving. Now, don't get nervous and don't get freaked out. What Umapro is going to help you do, because it was specifically designed this way, is it's going to help support the repartitioning of nutrients to the fat cells, it's going to repartition them to the, lean man, uh, to the lean muscle cells. So what this does basically is it starves the fat cells so they shrink. It helps feed the muscle cells so they grow. So a soccer mom, a working mom is going to notice her waistline is getting smaller, she's going to get a little bit more definition in her shoulders, her arms, her legs, her hips are going to lean out. And that's the Umapro shrinking the fat cells by helping to support that repartition for away from the fat cells and into the muscle cells. Competitive athletes, specifically bodybuilders and, and uh, figure girls or bikini girls, they use Umapro a lot in their contest prep because it helps them lean out faster brings their shape out better, brings their muscle definition better. Now, we also, as soccer moms, as working mothers, we want to be healthy. We've got kids to take care of, we've got jobs to do, we've got a house to take care of, some of us have animals on top of that. Umapro will help feed our muscles so that we stay strong and we stay healthy. So there's a lot of benefits to using Umapro on a daily basis. Um, and again, for whatever reason you want to use it, even if you just want to be healthier, you know what? One of the nice side benefits of Umapro is it actually is going to help you lose body fat and shrink those fat cells, whether you want it to or not. So you're going to get that great advantage there. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Oh, by the way, it's not even one and a half grams of fat, so I wouldn't worry about that at all. Enjoy it. Put it in the fridge for a couple of hours before you serve it again. When you bring it out, this is almost coming, is, is almost going to be like a frozen yogurt consistency. So it'll be nice and cold. It'll go really well with the texture of the berries and the sponge cake. So enjoy it. 
and I look forward to seeing you back here again. Keep sending in your letters and your emails and your videos. We want to see more of you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.